What's going on, everybody? <laughs> I heard a really couple funny jokes today. Apparently, Justin Jefferson is just a product of Kirk Cousins. Talking about Justin Jefferson being ranked number two in the NFL's top 100, as voted on by the players, mind you, that Kirk Cousins is the reason why Justin Jefferson has been so successful. I heard another good one where Chris Broussard pretty much echoed the same thing, saying Justin Jefferson was too high on the list because the wide receiver is the most dependent position on the field. All positions on a field or on a basketball court or on an ice arena are dependent on your teammates and other positions. I can kind of see where Chris Broussard was trying to go with his argument when he said, hey, this is the most dependent position. Again, as if the quarterback is not dependent upon the offensive line, as if the secondary is not dependent upon the pass rushers trying to put pressure on the quarterback. That's what team sports is all about. It is arguably I'm the most offended. dependent position in the league. I can't have a receiver at number two. I, I can't. Jerry Rice is an exception all time, and oh. maybe Justin will become that. If but the right. quarterback's no good, what's that receiver going to do? Well, Kirk ain't great. And yeah, but he's good. good. He's, he's good enough. He's good I'm just saying. So hold on. I'm just saying. When I did my reaction video, I said I was surprised that he got up to two. I figured it would be Mahomes and then Burrow and then maybe one or two other quarterbacks, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, and that Justin would probably be in the five or the six spot. I don't have an issue with saying, hey, the quarterbacks are too important and there needed to be more than one quarterback ahead of this wide receiver. Defensible position. But that's not the position you took. The position that he took was, well, what if your quarterback isn't good? Justin Jefferson doesn't have to apologize that he has a good quarterback throwing him the ball. Has set an all-time record for yardage through three seasons. Does Jerry Rice have to apologize, the guy you brought up, for playing with two Hall of Fame quarterbacks in Joe Montana and Steve Young? Don't think so. I'm sorry. If you want to say that a wide receiver was ranked too high and that there should have been other quarterbacks up there first, fine. But to say that, ah, I'm just saying, you know, what if his quarterback's bad? You know what? Yes, you're right. If he was getting passes from Christian Ponder or Tavares Jackson, for example, he probably wouldn't lead the league after three seasons in receiving yards. And that's not even the headliner. Here's the real funny one from some Yahoo named Perloff on CBS Sports Radio. I love Justin Jefferson, but he's definitely a product of Kirk Cousins in that offense. Kirk Cousins just crea wait. creates numbers for wide receivers because he's got that Eli thing where wait, he wait, throws wait, the wait. ball with tons of loft and yeah, a million wait, wait, yards. Right. You think that Justin Jefferson is a product of Kirk Cousins? But, yeah, in that offense, big time. Oh, um, Kirk Cousins, that, that's, that's a hot take. I, I would yeah. not agree Look at with the that. numbers that Cousins' receivers always have. They always do really well. Okay. Am I totally, you I guys totally I think Justin totally Jefferson is one of those guys where he could be playing with whoever and he's going to look good. I think he's awesome, but I do think he's a bit of a system guy. So number two overall on this list makes no sense to me. Oh, I don't even know where to begin with it. I mean, honestly, he's a product of Kirk Cousins and that offense. What have we been saying all offseason? This is going to be another great year for Kirk Cousins and the offense because they're finally in the same system with the same offensive coordinator, in this case the head coach, for the first time in his career. You want to know what that means? It means the same thing for Justin Jefferson. In 2020, Gary Kubiak. 21, Clint Kubiak. I know, similar system, a little bit of nepotism, but it was still a different offensive coordinator. And then last year with Kevin O'Connell. And again, Justin Jefferson, through three seasons, more receiving yards than anybody else. Granted, yes, he's had two extra games. And granted, yes, the evolution of football means that there's more receiving yards than there was, say, in Randy Moss's day. But my point is simply this. To say that he is a product of the system and Kirk Cousins. I'm sorry. I'm not here to get into any debates about who makes who. The bottom line is this. Was Magic Johnson only great because he played with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Was Larry Bird only great because he had Kevin McHale? Was Jordan the GOAT only because he had Scottie Pippen? Guess what? Good players feed off of each other. They make each other better. That's what team sports is all about. You're always going to be dependent on your teammates. That's why it's called a team sport. Justin Jefferson or the aforementioned Jerry Rice or the basketball players I made or anybody else, you don't have to apologize for having advantages. In a team sport, you're always looking for advantages. You're always looking for teammates to make you better. And you're always looking to make your teammates better. Yes. Justin Jefferson in college had Joe Burrow and in the pros has had Kirk Cousins. He's had two really good quarterbacks throwing to him for the last seven years. Great. That doesn't mean that Justin Jefferson is only a product of the system or the quarterback. 
I mean, did Joe Burrow just make Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase when they won the national championship? Or did the two receivers make the quarterback? They made each other great. And to say, a product, get out of here with that mess. But those are my thoughts, such as they were. Let me know yours. I can barely keep it together and not laugh as I listen to those clips. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave me some feedback. Do you think that Justin Jefferson is a product of the system? Do you think he was ranked too high? Or do you think the players who voted on it got it right? If you didn't catch my reaction to Justin Jefferson being number two out of the top 100, as always, skull to the next episode.